everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yoso Boho. I am sitting outside of the Cuyahoga Falls Goodwill. This is gonna be one of my short trips, uh, the kind where I get what I get and I don't pitch a fit. <laughs> so let's go in here, see what we can find on a limited time. It's raining. Let's go run around the raindrops and uh, see what's inside. I don't get over to this one all that often. Maybe once every other month. So hopefully we get good luck. We have some Halloween stuff and some very loud music. So I'm gonna have to compete a little bit with that. Oh, around the corner we have Christmas. This looks like it's a new, anything with this white tag and red writing. It's like new merchandise. There's a whole bunch of the Halloween stuff, but it's all new up front. And a whole bunch of Ray Dunn. I was surprised to see that. I'm gonna turn over here and see if we see any baskets. I think baskets are mostly one price. I'm not sure. I've been kind of on a puzzle kick, which makes this very tempting to get. Look at that great graphic. It says though, over 60 pieces. I don't know if that sounds like over 60 pieces in there. I'm sure some escaped. It's $3, still a little tempting, but I think I'll pass. Oh no. I think she's missing something. I kind of like the way this looks. This looks like one of those neck spine stretchers. I wonder if you have to lay down or if you can just put it behind you. Sitting at your desk for any bit of time, this kind of thing is really good. I might try that. I just spotted something down here. Look at these. Those are pretty. I wonder if that's Blue Mountain Pottery. Somebody bought them somewhere for $5. Uh, Goodwill has two on them. Are these chipped at the tips? Oh, they look pretty good. I think I might snag those for a buck a piece. I love the color of them. All right, so looks like we're getting something. <laughs> it's a good sign. It's an interesting shape, carafe. Corning, one quart. This looks busted. Yeah, something's wrong there. Well, maybe not. Maybe I should look that up. Oh, <laughs> definitely something going on bad in there. Look at how cute this is. I like the look of that. Plastic. Oh, it's chipped. What is this? Like a big hamster wheel up here? <laughs> it's a big vase. All right, moving on from the green. Oh, these look like Blendo. Ah, gold's wearing off. Ugh, I hate the feel of them. Those normally would come with a pitcher. Cute kind of country clock. Ah, I thought these might pull out. There's one of those state tin plates of Florida. Is this a toilet seat cover with a Christmas tree, like latch hook? <laughs> oh no, no, that's not good. This is kind of sweet, but these are all broken. That's not good. Here's a cute little strawberry. What's going on here? Little hobbyist piece. It's got a, oh, the underplate's attached and it has a little top there. What's this guy here? Oh, I thought he was glass. He's plastic. 
Looks like he lights up. He must need a battery. Spider venom. Is this a uh, new inventory? Yep. $8.99. No thank you. What is this under here? I make the rules. Okay. Something Disney. Got lots of little bunny rabbits. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I see these quite often too. And we got some copper. Very lightweight. These are pretty. But no, 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 no. Not buying cream and sugar. <laughs> I swore off of it. Hmm. Ooh, that's kind of cool. What is this? It's damaged, but that's a neat little fish slash dolphin fish. The marble base made in Italy. Two dollars. That's kind of cool. You could probably hang little hand towels or something. This part doesn't feel quality though. He's really neat. Is that something that we can bring back or is that really ruined? It almost looks like this was like plated. I don't know, he's got a cool look though, doesn't he? Mm, probably gonna pass though. Should I? He's kind of cool. He's just in really rough shape. We'll put him in the cart and think about him. All right, anything else here? What are these? plastic. Uh, I've seen these little fans. They're very cheap. Alright, let's move on. This is too bad. I just found this little bird music box. I don't know anything about fixing music boxes, but this one's neat. The bird goes in and out. It's a little Schmid box. It's kind of nice. Got some kind of country things here. Kind of cute. These are kind of cute. Like I said, looks like a lot of country stuff. This looks like Avon. Yep. I love those little close eyed bunnies. Oh, he's cute. Oh, got a crack. <laughs> cute little lamb though, huh? Dang, that's too bad. Oh, this is maybe Fenton. I don't know. It has a very kind of weird weight to it. Little water pitcher. <laughs> I've seen these before. It's a little teapot. Oh, he's really in bad shape. Chippied up. Um, I wonder how much these are. Five dollars. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'll pick them up for their dollar or less each. Anything in the clear? This is kind of pretty. Oh, not in good shape though. These little eggs are cute. Two dollars each. I 
That looks kind of precarious up there. <laughs> um, am I missing anything? It's like a teddy bear dish down there. What is this? Do not open. Thirty dollars. <laughs> got a horseshoe in the top and just some randomness. What makes this worth thirty dollars? That's crazy. I see a little piece of pottery back here hiding. It's pretty. This looks like an amateur piece with that big clunky naked bottom, but it's not signed. Not signed. You should be proud of your work and sign it. This is a neat blue onion in the corning. And this snuggle is real. Is it? Okay. It's an awful big mug. Need some soup in here. Those are neat colors. This looks like it might be treasure craft underneath here. Nope. <laughs> that is hand painted. Ooh, gosh, and it's not even, <laughs> it's not even like glazed. It's like cold painted. Eek. It's kind of pretty. Oh, nice weight too. Seems like an actual usable casserole dish. Mm, anything exciting down there? No. I see a big platter with some grapes on it. And these look kind of fancy. Got a nice weight to them. I see some chips and stuff on them though. But they have different kinds, little short guys. Little champagne flutes. Mm, what's going on here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody made a little candle in there. Nothing too exciting. 50th anniversary. Here's another 50th anniversary with the lipstick still on there. Come on, folks. Little box here. That's kind of sweet. A little made in China. Got a cast iron down here. We got a couple. I think I saw these last time I was here. I think they were lodge. Oh, that is Craft Kitchen. What was the price? Oh, it's over here. 15. Oh, that's a heavy one. That's Lodge. I think I did see these last time I was here. And they had like, yeah, 20 bucks, 20 bucks on it. It's kind of fun. There's a bucket, a little dragon. Waka. A tin Easter basket. Okay. This looks like it might be Tupperware. Yeah. I don't know. Little cake stand. What's this? this? Looks like a mustache. Oh my gosh. It's like a rubber mustache. What's going on there? What are we doing with that? Are we making like mustache shaped jello or something? That's just weird. Is this like a picnic set? That's fun. Who makes that? Doesn't say, it just says it's dishwasher safe. These are neat. Are these temptations? No, signature. 
kind of cool. Two dollars each. Great, now we have to compete against you two. <laughs> well, we're nearing the end here though, so I think we're probably okay to shut down. Oh, I love these. Anytime I find, oops. <laughs> Anytime I find Lazy Susans, I'm so tempted to buy them. $3, this is like a double stack. Um, I have a couple of those already in my cupboards. Wow, look at this. It's kind of neat. It like it comes apart. Like you have to put it together like a puzzle. Oh, it's really weird, like a spongy wood. And I think it's missing a tail. Yeah, it's definitely missing a tail. All right, we're gonna leave this guy here. I was looking at him and he's really damaged. That's not something I can clean off of there. I think it was some sort of coating. And this is just really kind of cheap feeling. So although he's very cool looking, maybe somebody will upcycle him. It's not gonna be me. Well, they have the Halloween costumes out. And I learned this from Yvonne, but it's always good to look through and see if there's anything vintage in here because oftentimes they save you know some old wedding dresses or old dresses for um, costumes I'm not seeing anything here but it's a good tip always worth a look I'm looking through purses I don't think this is quality um, it looks like it's unused like brand new Look at the bottom. Has that kind of southwestern feel. <laughs> it's all blinged out. Inside's clean too, but there's no tag on it. Like it's not labeled at all, which I wonder. Oh, there's some damage right here too. It's a rip. <laughs> Just thought I'd show you that because it's kind of cool. This is kind of neat too down here. It's like a box purse. Looks like it has some age to it. It's kind of neat. It definitely looks like it might have some age to it, but also looks like it's not a high quality item. Chain's really cheap. <laughs> looks like a little dog chain or something. Anything else here? Of course, you know, I came over to look at the hats. But I always take a quick look at the bags. I'm not a big bag person. I don't know enough about them. I usually just kind of touch them. And if they are leather, if they feel good, or if they have a really unique look to them, that's when I'll pick them up. I do every once in a while. Just not real often. That looks like relic, right? With the R. I like the relic purses. They have a cool look. And when I'm shopping for my own purse, I always look for crossbodies at the thrift store. The ones that I carry are both thrifted. That's cute, look at that red hat. It's fun. Aw, look at that. Whole felt hat, that's way too small for my head. But how adorable is that? Oh, I love that. <laughs> There's a kid walking around in like a mask and gloves. He's hunting for somebody. Look at this, oh my gosh. Could that be any bigger? It looks like it might be vintage. Mm, maybe not. Wow, here's another one. Whittle and Shone, new with tags, look at that. That's something else. That is crazy, kind of cool. Look at the feathers. <laughs> you could sport that for St. Patrick's Day. I don't see anything special. It's calling my name. So, I think we shall call it. Take our little treasures and head on out. 
a big purchase. <laughs> I just want to show you before I head out of here. Look at all of the Ray Dunn. Some of them are kind of cool. Like I like this little cat bag here. It says Wicked. Boo. Bougie. <laughs> it's kind of clever. But yeah, all these are priced with uh, new price stickers. Like new inventory. Interesting. Well, it stopped raining. That's a good thing. <laughs> I'm going to head home with my treasures. I took the tape off and these are Blue Mountain Pottery. There's a little number and it says Canada on them. They're just little souvenir trinket dishes. On the bottom there in gold, you can see Banff Canada. And both of them say that. I saw one over on eBay that said um, Niagara Falls. So these are just made as little souvenirs. But they're very pretty little Canada maple leaves. And they're in great conditions. Probably worth somewhere in the maybe $8 to $10 range each. So that's a good little thing. I might list them together on eBay for 20 bucks. We'll see. And my little spine stretcher, which I am going to test out and possibly use. Um, I did not look that up, but I feel like it's going to be useful. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tagging along. I'm telling you, we're going to do these and sometimes maybe we won't find anything. This time, at least we found some small little treasures to take home. Big total today, $5. Thanks for coming along, guys. I will see you on Tuesday. Until then, please take care. Bye.